Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make a custom whiskey shadow box for Father's Day using Cricut and Free Template. And for this project, we're going to need a Cricut machine, a shadow box. This is an 8x8 eight eight inches shadow box that I found at Hobby Lobby mini whiskey bottles. I am using the 100 millimeters Jack Daniels whiskey bottles. A mini hammer. I found this one at Lowe's. Shot glasses, cardstock, permanent vinyl, transfer tape, glossy or matte sticker paper. I am using a soft glossy sticker paper and a hot glue gun. In the description below, I will link all of the supplies used in this tutorial. I'm going to start working with the design in the Cricut Design Space program. But before, I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. This is the sticker label that I will be printing. If you would like to use it, I invite you to visit my blog where you can download it for free. I have three different designs, plus one in Spanish. Find the link in the video description down below. Once downloaded on your computer, I'm going to show you how to upload it to the Cricut Canvas. Go to Upload. Upload image, browse, select the design, open it, select complex, continue, apply and continue, select the one that says print then cut and upload, select and add it to the canvas. Up here you can type the father's name or Happy Father's Day, and on the bottom, you can type the kids' names. Click on Operation if you wish to change the color. You may leave it like that, or you may curve the text. Click on Curve and curve it to your liking. Now I will add the text on the bottom. When finished customizing, select All Click on Aligned, Aligned Center Horizontally, then click on Flatten. Now I'm going to resize it using the measurements on the screen. Now it's ready to be printed and cut. And this is the text that is going to go on the shadow box glass. And it's going to be cut with permanent vinyl. Resize it to the measurements on the screen. Select it and click on attach or weld. I'm going to duplicate the sticker so I can place one on the bottle and the other one on the shot glass and ready. Now let's go make it. Continue, send to printer, and select bleed and select use system dialog. Click on print. Here select the printer you are going to use, then click on preferences. Here you are going to select photo printing. If you are using glossy sticker paper, select glossy photo paper. If you are using matte sticker paper, select matte photo paper. 
I'm going to select glossy photo paper. On quality, select high. Make sure it's on letter size, then click OK and print. Now here we're going to select the material that we're going to cut. In this case, the first one is going to be cut on sticker paper. So I'm going to select a sticker paper removable. If you don't see it on your favorite, click on browse all materials, type the material and search. Then select the one you're cutting. For the other mat, I'm going to select vinyl because I am cutting permanent vinyl. Let's go to the machine. You may use the green cutting mat. I am using the purple one because I am out of green cutting mats. Now for the decal, I am using permanent vinyl. Oracle 651 And here are the designs ready to be transferred. To transfer the decal, I'm going to use transfer tape. In the description down below, I'm going to link all of the supplies used in this tutorial. And here is the beautiful custom whiskey shadow box for Father's Day. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.